Mexico has a lot of faithful Catholics. However, what some people may not realize is that back in the 1920s and 1930s, the Mexican government had an agenda against the Catholic Church. And during that time, many bishops and priests were either assassinated or put in jail. Also, Catholics who outwardly supported the church were either assassinated or jailed. A while ago, I made a blog about Blessed Miguel Perro, who was a priest that the government also assassinated. Today, I'd like to tell you a story about an ordinary woman, just a lay woman, not even a nun. Her name was Maria de la Luz Camacho. She died a martyr, and a martyr simply means someone who is willing to die for their faith. Someone who is persecuted by others for following their faith and threatened the punishment of death if they don't give it up. Some people refuse to give up their faith and refuse to denounce Jesus, so they die. That is what a martyr is. Maria was born in Mexico in 1907. Her father was a businessman, which meant her family was of well means and lived a comfortable lifestyle, just like many other Mexican Catholic families. During the 1920s, the Mexican people elected Plutarco Elias Calais as president, and he was strongly against the Catholic Church and subsequently passed many laws opposing the Catholic Church. Many people suffered because of this. There are some people that supported Calais and who helped seek out and identify Catholics, priests, bishops. They were either imprisoned or assassinated. Every Sunday, in Maria's hometown, there were a group of supporters of the president that would hold a meeting called the Anti-Catholic Hour. And that meeting took place in a park right across the street from the church. On December 30th, 1934, there were a lot of young, drunken people outside the church they decided they were going to burn the church down. They were unaware that inside the church, a special mass was taking place with children, which meant if they burnt the church down, the priest and the children would perish. Word spread quickly through the village, and Maria ran and stood in front of the church doors, blocking their entrance. There were many bystanders watching this event unfold and Maria called for them to come help and take their place beside her to block their entrance to the church. The angry mob kept yelling at them, telling them to get out of the way, yet they refused and stood guard. They had hoped that the priest and the children would have time to escape out the back door. The disorderly mob kept yelling at them, telling them that they were going to kill Maria and the people in the blockade but Maria told them that they were not afraid. The mob said, there is no God, God is dead. But Maria simply responded, Christ is king and will live and reign forever. This just further enraged the mob and they kept yelling at them to get out of the way. Yet Maria and her people refused and she kept announcing that Christ is king and will reign and live forever. 
Someone in the group fired a shot, which killed Maria instantly. Luckily, the priest and the children had plenty of time to escape the church safely. Just two days later, on January 1st, 1935, over 30,000 people came into the city to attend Maria's funeral. Maria is now called a servant of God. This means that the church recognizes what she has done, and that maybe she really is in heaven. So they've started an investigation into the life of Maria de la Luz Camacho to find proof that she is in heaven by way of miracles happening. And if we find out that she is in heaven, then she will be called a saint. When this will happen, I do not know. I certainly hope that it's in my and your lifetime. May God bless you.